Africa is the second largest and second most populated continent in the world, behind Asia. It occupies 20% of the planet's land area and around 30.3 million square miles, of the planet's total surface area. 1.4 billion individuals make up the population. It makes up around 18% of the world's population as of 2021 and 2022. Africa has the youngest population of all the continents, with a median age of 19.7 in 2012, compared to a global median age of 30. Despite having a variety of natural resources, Africa is the second least rich continent overall, behind Oceania, and the least wealthy per capita. This has been linked by academics to a variety of variables, including as geography, climate, tribalism, colonialism, the Cold War, neocolonialism, a lack of democracy, and corruption. Welcome back to Quick Information Post, the number one online information that helps you understand your world better. In case you are new please consider subscribing and give this video a like. Africa is on both sides of the prime meridian and the equator. The only continent that spans both the northern and southern temperate zones is this one. Africa's history is lengthy, intricate, and sometimes overlooked by the world's historians. The genesis of humans and the Hominidae group is commonly believed to have occurred in Africa, especially Eastern Africa, Great Apes. The earliest Homo sapiens, modern human, remains, found in Ethiopia, South Africa, and Morocco date to approximately 233,000, 259,000, and 300,000 years ago, respectively. Homo sapiens is thought to have originated in Africa around 350,000 to 260,000 years ago. The earliest hominids and their ancestors have been dated to around 7 million years ago, including Sahelanthropus chidensis, Australopithecus africanus. Because it has been inhabited for the greatest period of time, anthropologists believe that Africa has the largest genetic diversity of any continent. North Africa was the birthplace of early human civilizations including ancient Egypt and Carthage. Some historians link the name to the climate of the continent. According to others, the name was derived from the Greek word Afric, which means the area free from cold and fear. Others believe it to be a reworking of the Phoenician word Afar, which means dust or the Roman term Africa, which means sunshine. One of the most widely accepted theories regarding the term's origins is that it derives from the Roman designation for a tribe that lived in Tunisia's northernmost region and is thought to potentially be the Berber people. The Romans gave these people the names Afri, Afer, and Ifir, respectively. Some people think the word Africa is a contraction of Africa Terra, which translates to the land of the Afri. However, there is no proof in the main sources that the phrase Africa Terra was ever used to refer to the area, and there is also no proof that the Romans got the word Africa directly from the name Afri. Africa now has a wide variety of races, cultures, and languages because to a long and complicated history of civilizations, migration, and commerce. Over the past 400 years, Europe's impact on the continent has grown. Trade, notably the transatlantic slave trade, which resulted in sizable African diaspora communities in the Americas, drove this starting in the 16th century. Europe conquered practically all of Africa between the late 19th and the early 20th centuries, leaving only Ethiopia and Liberia as sovereign states. After World War II, Africa underwent a process of decolonization that produced the majority of its current nations, 